are you thinking about doing your own journey in Spain and you're not sure, then this video is for you. I'm asking five spin volunteers about their experience. The questions are both about how working is, but also how they feel and what they're learning. At any given time, there are around 20 volunteers at spin, both in the office and working with other associations. All the footage I used was taken from different spin activities, and all the people you'll see in it are other volunteers. My name's Aurelie. Uh, I'm Elena. I'm from Italy. My name is Katja. I'm from Norway. Uh, I'm Michele. I'm from Italy. I'm Veronica. I come from Italy. Well, I'm a volunteer. <laughs> ESC volunteer. What are your responsibilities? Well, the one that I do most regularly, because it's a, it's a weekly thing, a bi-weekly thing, is the Portuguese classes. So I've got a group of, group of students and I'm giving them Portuguese classes and that's, and that's nice. And I'm doing my volunteer project in, in a kindergarten. Different like email work. <laughs> and I work with the kids in the after school and we do many activities and workshops. Yeah, I'm doing uh, basically a uh, office work, but uh, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, we have to work from home because of the corona virus risk. So I think we were two days in the office and then then uh, we all started working from home. When did you start your project? First <laughs> uh, of March, and I guess the lockdown started like. Uh, 5th of March or something, I don't remember. Very, very lucky. Yeah. What do you like about Lisbon? In other cities, you can feel quite really in the city and surrounded by buildings and it can be a bit overwhelming and um, claustrophobic. Lisbon is like, <laughs> you want to get out of the buildings, you go up a hill and you sit on a bench and you what, you see the, the city below you, like that's amazing. And you see the river and it gives this real sense of freedom. A city full of, of life. Um, I like I like the colors, people. I think people seem really relaxed here and uh, take things like in a slow tempo. A uh, lot of museums, uh, uh, art spaces yeah. uh, and they are for free because we are resident now mm -hmm. here. So it's amazing. <laughs> How is uh, working as a volunteer? I love the, the freedom for that in at Spin and with this project. I mean, I don't know if all if all um, ESC opportunities are like this because I guess and also obviously with with the quarantine it changed things a bit as well. But the freedom to, to really like think, okay, what what is interesting for me? Um, can I? Can I make it fit with with this association? Who can I talk to? Um, there is really that that freedom, which is which is amazing. Like that, you wouldn't get in a in a paid job, and the freedom to say, I want to do this. How about I do this? And can I like who can help me with this? So that's really 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 great. But for me, it's different because uh, I'm not working in office, so I don't have I can I cannot create my own projects. So uh, I have in my project and the schedule is always that one. Yeah. Every day going to the kindergarten and uh, learn, improve. And, uh, mm -hmm. But it's interesting because uh, it's an opportunity to do a kind, um, I mean, a kind of internship. For me, it's like I'm not, I've, n I've never been really career minded and I'm more interested in and just finding something to do with my life that, that is rewarding, interesting for me and helping others, you know, I think most most people want that and to have, but we don't necessarily know how to, how to do it, you know, and we have to think about how to survive and get money. So, so I think this is a really great, a great opportunity for that, to do, to do something that's not, um, not a, like uh, too demanding because it's a voluntary thing but also like with the opportunity to develop like skills and meet people. I realized that 
the most important thing that I had in this period uh, was a connection, relationship uh, between me and the uh, children and uh, educators. What did you learn during this experience? Uh, yeah, don't be afraid also to, to try to put yourself uh, in a different context, uh, like this experience. Uh, so I push myself to to risk, like in um, because maybe I was uh, used to to stay in my comfort comfort zone, and here you have to uh, go outside your comfort zone. So go to another country, new know new people, uh, use another <laughs> another language. I can I can tell actually I was a little bit worried because uh, I um, because of my English so I didn't know how to how to communicate with other volunteers and I was afraid because I didn't know if they would have been able to 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 know me um, but I discovered that. Actually, you don't like you don't need that much to 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 speak the language. You just have to to show yourself. I hope you enjoyed. You can see all the videos I used on our channel, and we have a lot more information on our website, Facebook, and Instagram.